Hello, beautiful friends, beautiful souls. Welcome. Welcome to my page or my YouTube channel, whichever one you're viewing this on. Um, so today is Tuesday, August 20th. We just made it through that full moon energy. I don't know if you feel moon energy, but I sure do. So, whoo, what a relief. I uh, got a great picture of the moon. I'll post a little later. You know me and my photography. That's one of my passions. And part of the reason that we go through this process is so that we have time to pursue our passions. So let's get started on our mindfulness moment for today. Today we're going to talk about goals. Um, this is set yourself a handful of future goals to work towards. Plan simple, achievable, I'm sorry, plan simple achievements to build a pathway to them. So you can't really accomplish anything without an overarching goal. And then you coordinate the steps that you need to take in order to achieve that. So what we're doing in this process is we're making small incremental steps or change to support our happiness, transforming our lives. So I think I have a little interruption in the internet, so forgive me if it's getting a little bouncy. So I just want to talk about goal setting. Um, oftentimes our goal setting comes in the form of a to-do list, but if they're not coordinated, to become uh, cohesive and move us toward a particular goal, we end up kind of just spinning our wheels, not accomplishing what we set out to do, and then the frustration um, and the self-doubt starts to um, creep up in our well-being. So what we want to do is really align the steps that we're taking with the goals that we want to achieve. It's as simple as that. So if you want to get more organized, then we take daily steps, just small ones, so that we don't increase frustration, which increases cortisol, which increases, you know, uh, weight and uh, stress and anxiety. So what we want to do is we want to take small incremental steps that are very manageable in the time frame that we have. So if you only have 15 minutes a day, then work in 15 minute spaces a day. So don't bite off more than you can chew, as my mother used to say, but also keep your goals in alignment with what you want to accomplish. Okay, we'll move on. This is going to be a short video. Let's talk about our home caring framework. We're keeping up rather than spending all of our free time trying to catch up. So today we're going to work in our home office space and either a guest room or a child's room. So, so far this week we have cleaned the primary bedroom, the primary bathroom, the living room, dining room, and we're just doing quick tidy ups and light cleaning. We save our more deeper cleaning, heavier cleaning for the end of the month during fiscal fast, and then every nook and cranny cleaning twice a year, spring and fall, to get us motivated. Okay, so our laundry framework, again, this is a method that I use in order to keep up instead of spending all of my free time catching up. So I wear certain colors during certain days of the week. That way I can wash those colors at the end of that day and I have all that laundry done during the week. So my weekends are preserved for me time. Time to pursue my passion. So today's color, blues and greens. Now our health and beauty routine that we schedule for each day of the week, mani-pedi day. And if you can see, I really truly need a mani-pedi, but I'm off to the gym first. And then I will come back and do a, a foot soak and a hand soak, and I'm gonna exfoliate and then do my nails on my feet and my hands. And you would be amazed at even how just that little weekly routine creates an uplift in your vibration, in your motivation, and how you look, look and feel. Okay, but let's talk about all of those things we do daily to support our physical and emotional well-being. First thing, of course, is we exercise 
start where you are, but you want to work up to those 30 minutes a day. It's all research-based that that 30 minutes a day of exercise is going to support your health, your weight management, your emotional well-being, and it's just, it feels good. You're going to sleep better. You're going to be more motivated to eat better. So let's get that exercise session in. Um, after you exercise, make sure you're hydrating. You want to make sure you're taking in enough uh, fresh hydration beverage in order to clean the toxins out of your body, get all that lactic acid out of the muscles that you just worked in, and then it helps to boost your metabolism and it helps you lose weight. So it's a weight loss goal. I'll do a whole video on weight loss, um, but if you have a weight loss goal, staying hydrated is one great way to support that. Okay, also we take time for stillness. Hold on, I need a sip. Take time for stillness. Now, this could be meditation. It could be time in scripture. It could be prayer. It could be connecting to nature. It could be just sitting down with a cup of tea and just allowing your mind to relax, allowing your body to relax. And what you optimally want to do is get into heart brain coherence. There's a ton of research on heart brain coherence, which I call alignment, where your heart and your brain are in the same kind of frequency where they're both open and they're working together. And this then creates a systemic um, improvement in your physical being as well as your emotional being. You can do some research on that. There's tons of evidence how being in alignment, heart brain coherence is going to help support your health. Okay, so then eat clean. We want to eat to nourish, not toxify. Make sure that you're making healthy food choices. Start to reduce the amount of processed food, the amount of carbs to stabilize your blood sugar. You want to increase more protein. If you're trying to lose weight, it is critical that you get adequate amounts of protein. Otherwise, you're not going to lose fat. You're going to lose muscle. And we want to make sure that we are losing the body fat to reduce our body um, fat composition, our um, and then also we want to enhance the muscle tone because muscle is muscle tissue is really healthier than fat tissue. So I don't want to get too deep into all of that. Um, and I'm just kind of sharing with you some of the research I've done and what works. Okay, lastly, if you take vitamins and supplements, it's a great a gentle reminder to do that. Okay, so let's just recap. So today we're setting manageable goals that don't increase frustration and they are in alignment with the things that we want to accomplish. What is our overarching goal and how do these little micro goals start to line up to achieve that? Uh, for our home caring, we're going to do our home office space Go ahead and check your supplies, make sure you have everything that you need to be productive, and then also a child's room or the guest room. Um, also for our laundry framework, we're wearing blues and greens today, and then Manny Petty Day. I always do my little song, Manny Petty Day, it's Manny Petty Day. Um, hydrate, exercise, meditate, take time for stillness, uh, eat clean, take vitamins and supplements if you do. I hope you have a terrific Tuesday. I hope these little videos are help keeping you motivated, keeping the momentum going so that you can achieve your goals. I'm the organizer advisor and my goal, my passion, my purpose is to help you enhance your happiness and transform your life in these little daily steps that we're taking. All right, my friends, uh, check out my playlist on the YouTube channel. It has a plethora, there's over 400, almost 500 videos there. Uh, that will help you manage those steps and achieve your goals. The playlists are the overarching goals. Each video in the playlist is a step toward that. All right, check that out. Subscribe to that channel if you wouldn't mind. Please like this video if you find these um, mindfulness moments helpful. And until I see you tomorrow, have a wonderful day.